G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Not your traditional spot, I'm starting the episode normally at the beach or something like that. But I just got back from Bali late yesterday afternoon. I'm slowly getting over the Bali belly. And I woke up fresh this morning, ready to go on a mission. So I'm charging on my GoPro, drones, sorting on my dive gear out and getting everything ready. Anyway, a lot of you guys have been asking what program I use to edit. It's called Adobe Premiere Pro. Anyway, what we're doing today is we're just waiting for the wind to drop a bit. And then we're gonna chuck the boat on. Just gotta start packing it and get it ready. I think Jared's out here somewhere. Hello, Strider. Hello, you wanna go in the boat? This is a little bit of a tip for you guys. See how Jared's mast has got that flexy part there? That's what you're looking for when you're buying a snorkel. You want that flex so when it sits in your mouth, it doesn't grip and pull your mask down, which will make a little keyhole, which will let the water in. Just gonna finish packing the boat and then get out there. Oh, and it's absolute tits off. It's rough as guts. So we're going to attempt to cross and see if we can get to the islands. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to life, Find the bait, find the fish. All right. What is this, Brody Moss? A rock. Oh, that is not a rock. Oh, oh. Wow, that was a big fish. We need bigger rods. Oh, we've just steamed past some blue water. So we're gonna hunt around for a bit of ground to get the boys in the water. And I need to do a so bad, I still got barley belly. So I'm gonna get him in the water and do my business. Woo oh, I feel good now. Damn, I was, I was dying for a bit there. Anyway, I'll get, quickly get back to the boys. They're just up here and see if they've got anything. Who knows, it's beautiful in the water. And then I'm gonna suit up and get in myself. Boys just hopped back in. It's beautiful and blue in there they reckon, but really quiet. So we're gonna steam on, find some more ground, go to the next ledge. The boys are gonna get back in. Fingers crossed for a couple of fish. We're targeting jobbies. So we're in about 20 to 25 meters of water. We're looking for broken, rubbly, ledgy ground that's holding glass fish and bait. Normally, they'll run later afternoon. So as the sun's going down, fingers crossed we can come across a school. There's a few techniques to hunt them. I'll run through them later on with you guys. We could have a fish on here. I see a gun go off. Jared's come up with a fish, it looks like. It could be a jobby. Could be a beautiful jobby. I think it is. We got a jobby. We got exactly what we come for. Well done, Jared Oxley. <laughs> wow! <laughs> so he was right down on the bottom, I doubled back. So I was a bit far away from him, that's as far as the spear went in. Oh, no! <laughs> 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 put it in the <laughs> You were so lucky. So, Gives a look at where it gives it come, bring that closer. Oh my god, that's only just in there. <laughs> you put that to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Good fish, man, well done. Stoked. Couple more down there? Yeah. There he is. Well done, son. Oh, wow, man. Exactly what you come here for. Good fish, bro. Oh, come here. In you come. All right, looks like Brody shot something. Get over there and check it out. Yeah. <laughs> 
get. Oh, beautiful common trout, man. These ones we sort of go after a little bit more because they're a little bit more elusive and a little bit more rare than the normal bar cheek. This one was just down the bottom uh, amongst a few rankin, started to swim away, but like most of them, Curiosity got him and did a little turn and that was it. This is good fun so far, beautiful diving, beautiful conditions. Woohoo! Oh, good fish. I was down the bottom and uh, all the fish just scattered. Looked up, big Mackie comes over my head, Jacko's, Jacko's on. tips for hunting big job fish if these guys are interested is that we find when you do find the job fish they hunt they they hang around you know broken ledges anywhere with bait in and a fair bit of tide movement 15 to 25 meters of water ideally don't focus on the job fish swimming down just get to the bottom if you spot them straight down to the bottom and when you're on the bottom you just need bottom time so get down on the bottom if you can and hang on the bottom and you'll see them start to bring them in closely because they are inquisitive but they're very smart. So they'll come in, start scratching that bottom and nine times out of ten the big one will turn his head and he'll come at you and he won't be able to stop coming at you. So hold your trigger because when you shoot him face, face on, not often will the spear penetrate the hard head straight on and will skip to the side. As soon as they turn their head, exactly like what just happened with my one, pull the trigger, aim for the head because you actually, once the fish is on, they will go and they'll go hard unless you put the herd on it. So you want to lift it up off the bottom because they will reef you and they'll cut your dynema and it'll be all over. To get those basics down, you should be able to get big job fish. A lot of the time if you're mid water or floating around, they will not give you the chance. They just don't come up to objects that aren't on the bottom most of the time. So uh, hopefully that helps you guys a bit. And that's what we all do when we're targeting job fish. We're always trying to be on the bottom and a bit of bottom time. what we came out here for big big job fish super 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 happy with that that's a monster absolute monster job fish Woo! that looks cool on here oh, all right look what dad's got <laughs> yep yep Big. Check out this big scar here from maybe a previous spear. So it's great to see that they do heal themselves because that looked like a spear's gone in there and it's ripped out before. It makes the mackie look tiny. Oh. The weather's turned absolutely magic, man. It's the glass off, huh? When we're coming over, we were like, you know, arm in an arm, whether we keep pushing through or not because it was absolutely hideous. But turned on the goods, the fish are on. It just, it just feels fishy today, you know, like you're dropping down and there's fish coming through, there's bait and the Mackies are all eating, you know, they're feeding, they're coming in and 
smashing the chum. It's uh, it's really good at the moment. Hey, this is what this is. Make the most of these times because it's not always like this. There were still heaps of rankin and trout and jobbies on that other ledge, but the idea is to not just smash and kill everything. You want to be able to go back there time and time and time again. Some of these ledges we've been diving for 10 years and uh, we just take sort of a few species. When it's running red hot, we'll take a couple of each. When it's just mellow and cruisy, we'll take one fish. But uh, it's absolutely red hot right now and we got no fish back home in the freezer. So I've got a couple of fish, I'm out, I'm Bodie now, that's me done. I've got my baby back, the Phantom 4 Pro. I'm gonna chuck it up in the air and hopefully the boys can nail the fish. <laughs> Go get him, Strata! <laughs> Up you get. You got this. You got it. Woo! Oh, good deal. Huh? Oh, no. oh. Straight up, rip oh. Charlie. Oh. <laughs> we just spotted something up, up a couple hundred meters up here. It looks like some sort of bird or something in distress maybe or having a bath or something we can see it up in the in the distance so we're just going to go up there and have a look see what it is here we go hello buddy yeah ah! oh, God. i think his legs and everything look okay i think he's just tired let's take him up past the tide line maybe from that big squall ah! today hey there you go busted foot you see them all the time with one foot. I think he just needs to chill out and over time that'll heal. It's worse if their wings were broken because so they can't fly, but his wings look fine. Obviously they use their big paddles to take off off the ocean. They couldn't get into the into the beach, so. And I think he's gonna survive. Thanks for biting me, mate. You You're bleeding. welcome. Well, I'm not sure how that how it got its injury or not, but they use their paddle feet to take off out of the water, and without that, with that busted foot, he doesn't really have much of a chance. So putting him on the beach there, fingers crossed, in a few days or whatever, when he gets his strength back, he'll be able to take off off the off the shore and continue his route. You see seagulls and birds like that all the time with with one foot, and uh, fingers crossed, he'll be fine. There's not a whole lot else we can do, unfortunately let our nature take its course. When we rocked up, his head was actually under the water and he was buggered, so there's, uh, in my eyes, he probably would have uh, died right then and there uh, by drowning if we didn't take him out of the water and put him on the beach. All right, that's it. We're gonna cruise on home now. I think the sunset might be beautiful and uh, we got a lot of fish to fill it. So uh, we'll see you back at mine. So me and Jacko are just at it first thing this morning. I got a smoothie. Jackson's just getting in some of these fish, but this big box come. So we're gonna open it up and see what it is. Ooh! <coughs> Turned up with GoPro now. So we're super, super thankful that they've jumped on board. I mean, we've been using their products for 
Man, I literally had the first GoPro ever, the original GoPro back in the day. So you guys know how much we use GoPros. Couple of stickers. Actually look really clean for a Mac, don't they? Mm. Really good. They're good? Mm. A Spangled Emperor or snappers, when you fill them, have this big knuckle, like cartilage, right, right there, and you have to like, they're the worst fish to fill it. It's all good down here, then you have to go around this knuckle. The big job fish. Oh yeah. Make sure you do a good job of that, Jackson. Well, what we want to do is we want to get this jobby head and uh, Jared and Jacko want to like mount it. So we're going to chop the head off and put it in the freezer because Jared's the man that knows how to do it all. So when he gets back from work, we'll probably do another video and show you guys how to um, mount the fish heads. You like boil the head and get the jaws out and they look cool. Actually, I'll go grab one. So this is one that Jared's done before. It's from a 30 plus kilo Spanish mackerel that I got. But yeah, we'll make a video on that. Anyway, what we're gonna do is gonna fill it, fill it. We're gonna finish filleting this fish and um, cook it up a little bit later on. We just come down the beach and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook up some creamy job fish pie. That's what's on the menu. We just set up the shade, drop the ski in. That wind will start backing off even more and more and we'll go for a wrap and ski later hit the drone up in the air but um we're starving so we're gonna get straight into cooking this pie up out of the whole beach bob you do a poo right there huh bob just dropped a nug right there just letting you guys know that we have never ever cooked a fish pie before so it's gonna be interesting i reckon we're gonna nail it we didn't even look up any recipes or anything got a rough idea of what we need it's a pretty basic fish pie, but it's going to be good. The first thing we're going to do is got the fresh chubby from yesterday. We're just going to chop it up into little cubes. Woo! It's a fire, baby. Right, that one didn't work. I <laughs> couldn't. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. It's got some secret sauce, which is just some like creamy mushroom sauce you buy at the shops. Straight on. <laughs> you want to cook this all before you put it in the actual pie, we think. Just about to prep the pie. Just get Amberly out the ski and she can bug her off and go do her little thing. And I'm sure Strider wants to run after it. Look, Strider's ready to go. See ya. So a little creamy jobfish sauce is done and we're just going to put the pastry in the pie and Butter in the tray as always, you know the drill guys. Alright, there you go. Check it on. Yeah, yeah, overlay it a bit. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Oh, damn! Face down, got the good stuff in the middle there, and a bit of cheese on top. Look at that. He made some fish pie, baby. Woo! Job fish from yesterday. It actually already smells so good. Gotta brown her up and puff that pastry, baby. All right. Woo! There we go. I have no idea how long to give it. Maybe 20, half a. All right, while we're waiting for that pie, get this bad boy up in the air. Let's try it.
call it yet. Oops. Ah. That'll do. Moment of truth. Whoa! Whoa, it's about to be done. Ah! Ah! Ready? Ah! <laughs> ah! Yeah, we definitely let it sit down. Oh! oh. My bad. <laughs> Not the best at this. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. That's a... Look at that. <laughs> huh? Just have to wait for it to cool down there, eh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I need to wait for it to cool down. Whoa. That tastes good, but. Honestly, we actually nailed that. It's one of the best things I've had in so long. Mm. A, a fresh, jobby, creamy fish pie. In the middle of nowhere, with the crew. That's about, I actually, I am so stoked on this. It's really good. That's it for another episode. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. Get some merch and support us, youngbloods.co, if you guys want to. And uh, this is going to disappear very soon because I'm starving. Hopefully it doesn't go right through me. i still got a bad case of barley belly. I'll go for riding the ski later. Who knows? I'll see you guys very, very, very soon. Thank you. <laughs> you got Jackson? Got underneath <laughs> the boat or what? <laughs> what do you got? It's not kicking. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's good. What is that? Hey, it's, a bit, it's a bit of rock. Oh, same thing. Oh, no. All right. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, Jared. You got a rock. Good. <laughs> you might be able to get a soup out of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I think Why that's not? it. Oh, you <laughs> suck at fishing. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.